What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. This is your conductor speaking, A Train Game. And there's a lot of nuts and bolts on this fella right here, isn't there? Alright, so, in the last video, we entered Clanker's Cavern. As in, uh, Clanker himself is the cavern. But, uh, we didn't come up from this side, and we're gonna collect this jiggy this time. And, I believe there was something else we missed down here in this other room. So let's go ahead and try and figure out what that is, because I have no clue. Uh, huh. Actually, I think there's an... It's either an exit point, or... It is a entrance point to another area within Clankar himself. So let's see. Um, boom, boom, boom. So over here is where we didn't go last time. Where this golden feather is. I wonder what could be in here. Let's go ahead and fly in there because we're badass. Oh yes, and here is where this guy somehow has a molehill. Seriously, how the fuck did he get a molehill in here? This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool, does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold the right or left trigger and push the right stick right. Keep the right or left trigger held and use the left stick to move around. Use it wisely though as this move requires gold feathers and you can only carry ten of them here. Take these five valuable gold feathers with you. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. You've learned all my new moves for this world. The rest is up to you. Alright, so here we've learned the invulnerability move, which is very useful, especially for right here. So I believe you hold down the left trigger and press right on the... Yep. And you become invulnerable to anything. That's right. So you just make your way through there without being touched, which makes no sense whatsoever. But, hey. Let's go along with it. This is Banjo-Kazooie. You don't, you don't question Banjo-Kazooie. This game, you don't question this game. This game has every right to do what it wants to do. Yeah, but let's, um, let's just not even worry about why fucking Monty Mole has a, has a molehill in here, because that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I mean, we're inside a metal... I don't even know, is this guy, this guy... Clanker has to be a living organism. I mean, look at what... He obviously has insides. Look at look at this. What is, this is a wall of flesh right here. And then he has bones. No, no, those aren't bones. Those are part of the metal contraption that he is. But still, that's that's pretty crazy, man. Okay. All right. So we're just gonna pretend like that didn't just happen, and let's move on with our lives and go over here, cause. I am king. And we missed that music. No, that's fucking embarrassing. Man, this is some pro gameplay footage. I don't even know how many times I have to say that. This gameplay footage is pro. Alright, so there's one more way we can get into Clanker. Oh, you know what? Actually, before we go in there, let's do this. There's still some things that we have not collected, and over here is where we will get it. And. I hate these things. I hate when you have to platform your way on like little thin areas like this because, like I said, the fucking controls are so sketchy in these old games that it's not even funny. Like, you'll mess up so many times. It's fun. Like, you can't blame the game for that, you know? I mean, most of it is my shitty ass, you know, gameplay. I mean, my pro gameplay footage. But, you know, the game itself is a little sketchy on on uh, control schemes. But uh, here's another switch that will unlock a Jiggy out here. And let's remember to go back there this time. We don't want to fucking, you know, mess up like we did last time. So let's use the invulnerability because we're too lazy to go through here ourselves. You can actually make it through here without using this, but we're just going to be lazy and, and do that. Don't hold it. Alright, so there's one more Jiggy, and that is for collecting the rest of the Jinjos. 
Yeah, look at this. Look at this pro game. Who else does that? Perfect timing right there. Perfect timing. Oh, you know what? I mean, we might have made a mistake. We might have made a mistake by going through that doorway, but fret not, young ones. Fret not. Because we will be going back inside. I have, I literally have no idea where these next three Jinjos are. I think it's three. Yeah, there's the purple, the orange, and the green one are still left. And I have no idea where they are. So we are going to play this game through together and figure out where these Jinjos are. Because, you know, as a team, we can do anything. With the power of friendship, we can do anything. That is what every... Every single show like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Bakugan and and, and 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 every show like that has taught us. So let's see if we can get this perfect timing down again. Oh Ah, oh, come on. That was perfect timing, yo. Alright, ready? Ah Look at this, look at this perfect timing right here. Perfect! Oh my goodness. Who else do you know that can do that? That's right, you can't tell me because there is no one else who can do that. I'm the only one. This is pro gameplay footage right here. Alright. So, I'm gonna guess that there's no more Jinjos in here. There probably are, but I'm fucking dumbass. But I'm gonna assume that the rest of them are out here. Uh... Did we go through there yet? Uh... I wanna say... yes. But, um, I'm probably, I'm actually probably going to cut right here until I can find at least the next Jinjo. So, I'll see you guys when we discover where the location of the next Jinjo is. Alright. Alright, so, we're back. And if you come through here, huh, here is the blue Jinjo. My gosh. That's the first one on the list. That's probably like one of the, no, no, that one that was at the beginning is probably the first one we should have been able to find. But yes, yes, we have finally, finally found the blue one. There's still two more. I have absolutely no idea where they are. But we are going to keep on looking because we are pro gamers. We do nothing less than pro. And I'm actually going to do something unpro here and cut until we find the location of the next Jinjo. So I will see you guys when we find it. Okay, so I've discovered where the location of the next Jinjo is. How I didn't know it was here, my goodness, we passed this area. But let's go through here. We're actually going to collect these notes first. 95, 96, 97, 98. Oh, 99, which means there's one music note lurking somewhere. Oh my goodness, and I have no idea where it is. But anyways, the Jinjo, if you ground pound this, is going to be in there, the orange one. And there's a honeycomb. Oh, well, actually, yeah, if we, if we go back up there, let's go back up there real quick. There's a honeycomb that's in the other, the other uh, little pipe or whatever you want to call this thing. Oh, we don't want to go down that one again. Yes, let's... Oh, no! Okay, so we're back again, and finally, we've made it up here, and there's a honeycomb in this one. God damn it. Yes. We have three honeycombs. So now, I'm actually going to cut once again, so sorry for all the cuts, until we find the last Jinjo, or hopefully the last music note. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, and once again, I am a fucking dumbass because we missed exactly one Jinjo and exactly one music note back down here when we were saving Clanker. So here's the music note. And also, here's the Jinjo. And let's collect this fucking puzzle piece before we miss this. Alright, and let's fucking haul ass back up here. No. All the work that we've accomplished here today, we are not dying. 
I tell you right now we are not dying. Yes, yes, and when I tell you I'm not dying, I'm not dying. Alright, so that is the 100% complete addition to Clanker's Cavern. So, let's make our way out of this motherfucking place because I've had just about enough of undersea diving and exploration. And I'm actually pretty fucking hot right now. Oh my god. It is winter time and I'm fucking dying of heat in my own bedroom right now. This is ridiculous. I have the fan I have the fan on low because, you know, the sound of the fan interferes with my microphone, but I mean, Jesus. I, I mean, seriously, I'm wearing like a tank top. Not a, not a tank top. What the fuck am I a fucking girl? I'm wearing like a fucking. No, 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 no. Yeah, tank, tank top's the correct term. What am I, what am I saying? I'm wearing a tank and some shorts, and I'm hot. All right. Well, we're gonna exit the stage, and that is Clanker's Cavern. We're actually about out of time here, so I'm gonna end the video off here. Next time, we're going to head over to Bubble Gloop Swamp. If you liked the video, please subscribe, plus one up that like button. Thank you all very much. Sayonara.